And here we are up in East Texas woods on Lake Sam Raver. And we just got through framing up this active passive solar heated greenhouse. And we used as much green building products as possible. Uh, we used uh, recycled windows out of an old house. And the uh, glass up on the roof is uh, from old patio doors. And then the little structure up on top there, that's a, a reflector that reflects extra sunlight down onto the solar oven. Or solar heater, should I say. And then on this end, we have a solar voltaic panel that powers a battery or keeps a battery charged to power the fan that forces air through this solar heater here. And the air comes in up through here and then makes its way or snakes its way through the baffles uh, of this uh, metal roofing that has been painted with high temperature black paint. And here's a closer look at the uh, reflector. And then this is the clear roof that allows the sun to go through to warm the warm the soil inside the greenhouse and ultimately some uh, some barrels painted black full of water to uh, get some passive solar uh, heat storage. And in the spring, fall and winter, when the weather's warm, the collector is hinged and it, it folds down over the solar heater to uh, keep it from getting hot. And inside here, you can see the little fan inside this four inch conduit that is powered by the uh, solar voltaic cell. And then it goes up into the solar heater to where the, the air is heated and makes its way over to here and comes down to this four inch conduit. And then we'll bring uh, some topsoil in here to fill up to about midway on these cedar beams here so we can grow tomatoes, cantaloupes, what have you in the uh, cold of winter. And then another interesting thing when we came up here, we found a cypress swamp that was growing some giant duckweed in it. And I'm really excited to get back, get back home to my computer so I can look up and see what species this is to see if it would be a viable biomass fuel to be used in my Pacific Domes bioenergy dome.